you wrote Bombshell. Yep. Loved it. Oh, thank you. Thought it was so stylistically oh, pleasing as well. Thank you. But thank what you. I thought was interesting was that you added a character that doesn't exist in real life. So right. we have Megan Kelly, we have Gretchen Carlson. Yep. Now we have a new character played by Margot Robbie. Right. Right. What was the intention behind that? The story we never tell is the woman who feels compelled to say yes and gets trapped in that relationship. And it would have been possible to take a real person and spotlight them. It would have been cruel. People would have been trying to figure out, oh, who is that? You know, all the women who came forward would be re-interviewed and, and it would be brought up again. So it was just much safer and I think smarter to choose someone that I that it's a composite that I basically make up and tell that story from her perspective. I love that because that one scene in the movie was so powerful as she kept lifting up her skirt again and again. Where did you get that idea about, oh, she's just going to lift her skirt up until it reaches that point where you're just cringing when you're in the audience and you're filled with disgust? Well, thank you so much. Yeah, that, you know, that's that's in the, in the screenplay. It was always a matter of this this scene ends at a certain point that's no more than what you might see in a bathing suit, but in this context is utterly horrifying. And it was. And that was a very difficult day for all of us on the set. Uh, Jay did a beautiful job of shooting it, and obviously Margot and John did a beautiful job of performing it. But the, all, the idea was always to show that relatively small, relatively small sexual events that happen in the workplace, because the context is so inappropriate, really are powerful. And so that that's the idea. The idea is that just you don't you know just just seeing that right is utterly oh, horrifying because it's the wrong inappropriate context for it, and that was the idea just to show that. How did you build empathy? What devices did you use to build that level of empathy within the audience, especially when? you know, people have very politically polarizing yeah, views. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's easier for a younger person, right? So Margot, I think the audience goes with more because they sense she's not totally competent in that environment and they realize that she hasn't had a lot of other exposure in life and doesn't hasn't had a lot of choices. So it's a little easier than, you know, clearly anybody who goes to bed with Kate McKinnon, we are going to love. <laughs> so partly is just that relationship redeems her so much for us. The minute they're together and we love being with them and we want that scene to go on and on and on, then she owns us, you know, and so that's really the key. The key is just finding a way to make the people around the character love them, then we love them too. Well, congratulations, because I love them and oh, I didn't think you, that was you. even possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good.